Here in this video we are going to take a look at the real origins of the Mind Flayer and how the Soviets, that is the Russians, managed to capture an experiment on Demodogs, the Demogorgon and even trapping the Mind Flayer or now known as the Particle Being in their facility. So let's get to it. Let's start with the origins of the Mind Flayer. So from Volume 2 of Season 4, we get to see how the Mind Flayer came to be. It was in fact not a malevolent entity as was seen in the previous three seasons. Uh, Henry Creel, after the battle with Eleven, after he was sent to the Upside Down Dimension, discovered a lot of species over there, untouched by mankind. And as he stated, also the most extraordinary thing of all, which was a swirling, storm-like mass of shadowy particles. So using his abilities, Henry formed a psychic connection to the particles and morphed them into a form that satisfied him. He transformed the mist into a gargantuan spider-like entity that would come to be known as the Mind Flayer. All that we thought we knew about the Mind Flayer was wrecked by Season 4. In my opinion, it was a bad direction that the showrunners took. Instead of being the omnipotent and all-knowing ruler of the other dimension, it was in fact revealed to be just another life form that became a tool for Vecna to exact revenge and eventually try to take control of the world. Now we know that all the Demodogs, the Demogorgons, the Demobats and even the Mind Flayer were just pawns under the hands of the master of puppets, Vecna. So they all exist within a hive mind and at the center of it all is a psychic human and not the shadow spider monster that we all fear and love. Oh what a bummer. Anyway, so how did the Mind Flayer enter the earthly dimension? Well, quick answer is through the Mother Gate, or also known as the Rift. But how did the Russians get it and also trap the other creatures? Well, this is another thing entirely, another question entirely. So um, to start with, the Rift was a gate to the Upside Down located in the underground section of Hawkins Lab created unintentionally by Eleven. But the Soviet Union also carried out their own experiments in interdimensional travel by inventing a key that would create enough energy in opening a gateway. However, the Soviet gates would briefly open for just a short amount of time before closing in and causing a major energy outburst. The only stable rift could be created in Hawkins, so that is why in Season 3 there were Russians in Hawkins and they managed to open another gate which was the one below Starcourt Mall and this led to the spider monster infiltrating into this world. So yeah, Season 3's ending had a major tease of the Russians having a demagogue of their own. And then with the new Season 4 Volume 2, this eventually led to the question of how the Russians acquired the other creatures, as well as the de five demodogs and some of the shadow particles of the Mind Flayer. So strap yourself up guys for a boring explanation. Well now we know that these creatures are a part of a hive mind with Vecna at the center of it all. If one is hurt, the others feel it too. Keep that in mind as I try to explain. So when Eleven finally confronted and fought off the spider monster in the mall, Vecna too was hurt in the process. This led to a disarray in the mental connection with the troops which are the Demodogs and the Demogorgon. And it is in this fine moment that the Russians managed to capture the weakened creatures and cage them in massive steel bars and reinforced bulletproof glass for the particle monster, or at least a small part of it as seen in the show. Well, that is the main theory as to how the Soviets got them. But there is another explanation and that includes the Soviet facility slash prison or gulag where their experiments were carried out. This might have actually been the place where they, the Russians, managed to briefly open a gateway and somehow in that short period of time, a few of the Demodogs entered the earthly plane. This place is located in the Kamchatka Peninsula, which is a peninsula located in the eastern part of Russia, across the Bering Strait from Alaska, and on the Pacific coast of Siberia. Also, this might explain as to how the shadowy particles were trapped. The particles could have infiltrated Russian space from one of these gates, but when their connection to the hive mind was weakened during the battle between Eleven and the Spider Monster, this gave the Soviets an opportunity to encase them in glass. So there are two theories. A one, the Russians somehow managing to capture a few demodogs from their gateway experiments uh, from one of their gulags or capturing the creatures let loose in Hawkins after the battle weakened them which will also include a small amount of the Mind Flayer particles. 
and then trap it in a reinforced bulletproof glass cubicle. They would then covertly transport them to Kamchatka and why that place? Well, this would make sense as this region is far away from any populated area, thereby reducing the chance of casualties if anything goes wrong. And it is remote enough for them to do as they wish without being noticed by the public eye. Doing it in a gulag is another advantage in itself because with clearance from the Soviet government, anything can be executed in these prison camps. Monsters, people, mind flayer, anything. Anyway, with that we come to the end of this video. Tell us what you think, if you agree or not. So do hit that like button for support and subscribe as well to be a part of the MindQ family. As well as smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.